going on, you guys? My name is Ben Kane, and today we're at Alden American, and my grandpa brought his old hot rod over, and we're gonna be updating his shocks. So if you guys don't know, this is Alan Cahan, my grandpa. He's the guy that started uh, the hot rodding tradition in my family. And this is your first hot rod, right? That's true. So do you wanna tell us a little bit about it? I can take about seven days. Thank you very much for inviting me to come down today. It's always a pleasure being with you. And uh, anyway, this is an automobile I've had since 1958. The body itself is 99 years old. The car itself is a 1924. And I got it when I was 18 and it was all in pieces. My Boy Scout leader sold me for 250 bucks. I gave him $200 and uh, put it in a basket and took it home. It took six years to get it assembled. It's on a Model A frame. It has some really cool stuff. It's a real 16-inch Kelsey Hayes wheels, and you can see that are green. The front end is really special. It's a, a heavy 32 Ford dropped axle with the wishbones on it. The uh, axle came from, it's supposed to be an Oki Adams axle, drop filled and peaked. The body itself is uh, not chopped. The Von Dutch striped it in 66, signed it, uh, charged me another 20 bucks to have that done. This is an early root leaf hood. I designed it to make it look like a stock Model T hood, but in order to make this car work, it was built with a 50 Olds engine in it. So we slid the whole car back six and a half inches, and that made room for the Oldsmobile engine. Currently, it has a 65 Mustang engine in it with an automatic transmission. But I would argue it's like pretty unique because everyone chops their cars now. Right. So it's not odd, but it's cool to see this. The charm of these cars, they call them telephone boot cars. To me, it's a cartoon with wheels on it. It really is. It's very cartoon-esque. <laughs> so about two years ago, I did a video with my grandpa and all his hot rods. So I'll link that down below if you want to learn more about this car and his other car. But the interesting thing about this specific hot rod is that it had all the American shocks installed a while back. There was a period of time when the car sat by itself and I was unhappy with the car because it when I hit a railroad track the whole front end would bounce around. So uh, dad says, it's sympathetic the fact I wasn't driving the car. He says, take it over to, his name was Dick McGurgak, and I knew him from when he was building hot rods in his driveway. So I took it over there, and they said, we got these new shocks from Aldon. Uh, this was uh, early 80s, I believe it was. And they installed a pair of shocks from that company that were adjustable, and the cars have been terrific ever since. Now, what's interesting, we're here at Aldon America Shock Company, and um, I was complaining to Ben that the car is not performing the way it should, and he said, well, we'll let's go down and see if Aldon can help you. And so the, the cars come back home, really. Yes. Now, the interesting thing besides that is I was driving another car. I've got a, a 29 Roadster. The car broke down in Colorado on the way back from Pueblo, and we stopped in a shop to help us fix it, and the guy that owns the place actually did the installation of the Aldon shock in Canoga Park, and he now had his own company. So here I am in Colorado, we're talking about the Aldon shocks and the work that he did in Canoga Park. So to me, it's everything comes around. And yeah. I'm so pleased to be here today. Well, that's where we're gonna be talking to Gary. He's, he's the shock master. But yeah, let's go inside and talk to Gary. So this is Gary Nelson. I consider him the shock master. <laughs> I, I try my best. <laughs> we came to him basically with a custom order, right? Yes. So do you want to go into that? We brought the car in a couple of weeks ago. We did a little bit of measuring and decided what shock lengths we needed for the car. And one of the things on this car is it's such a cool vintage old style car. It wasn't going to look right as a uh, billet aluminum style shock. So what we did is we actually built a set of custom, but anybody can order them and we can make them. We just don't have them on the shelf ready, but they're black anodized. And so on this car, not being a billet modern style car, it's a great shock for the car. So I'll also be doing an in-depth install video for Alden American on their YouTube channel that I'll film and edit. So I'll link that down below in this video if you guys are curious. But with that being said, let's get to the install.
I haven't been in this car, like driving since I was a little kid. Wow. It's what actually I... very, uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it's it like is. being in like a, a fishbowl or something. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool that it has a Mustang engine though. We yeah. actually shared the same engine, the 289. Yeah. Does it feel much different as far as like it, how it handles? Or? It feels more uh, firm. There's, so it leans a little bit because of the height. This was an amazing experience for me being with Aldon America and, and uh, Gary. You know, being with you and Dad is a big deal to me. Every time we're together, it's just a joy and a delight. Well, this is actually fun being in this car. It's like I said, I haven't been in it since I was a little kid. And it's actually really enjoyable. <laughs> it's comfortable, too. <laughs> it is. Actually, it is. And I, I really want you to see what this car feels like behind the wheel. Feel how difficult it is to steer. Oh, I'm sure. How careful you need to be about stopping and watching other yeah. people who do not... You're in the parking lot. You're yeah. working your muscles, I can oh, see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this... <laughs> It's Armstrong steering. <laughs> it's a workout for you. It's a workout, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, this does not have power steering. It doesn't even have modern steering in it. The steering is 1934 Ford pickup truck. I and don't know. Maybe if you let me borrow it for a week, my arms might be a little bit bigger. They could. <laughs> that could happen. But. <laughs> So I want to give a huge shout out to Alden American for hooking up my grandpa. So I'll leave all their information down in the bio. But with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to let you guys know that I just came out with some new four speed merch. If you want to support me, I'll link it down below and check it out. And please subscribe for more content.